the regions and you can manage your keys from a single pane of glass across multiple regions, multiple accounts, or call it multiple geos. So now let's tie all these things together. So what we just showed is that um, you manage your key centrally, which means that you create, when you want to do bring your own key, you create a key into a central SDKMS group, call it a source keys group, and then you import that key or copy that key across multiple SDKMS groups. Now the SDKMS group could be of type AWS Key Management Service, which is depicted here as yellow boxes. And now once the key actually gets imported, it will go to a respective AWS KMS region and the key could be tied to your services such as AWS S3, the second region, the key could be tied to AWS RDS or Amazon RDS. And now when you rotate the keys, the keys get automatically rotated across uh, AWS KMS regions. All you have to do is you have to continue using the alias ARN, which stays always the same and you will always get the latest key material. Now, the same key can also be used for doing your Oracle uh, or Microsoft SQL TDE on-premise, which means that you can centrally manage a single key and could use the key pretty much across multiple uh, encryption strategies. Now, if we extend that to a different cloud, now there's a, there's a group of type AWS Azure Key Vault. And the way each uh, group is tied to in case of Amazon to a service account and a region and in case of Azure it will be tied to Azure Key Vault and the region. So you can create two groups or multiple groups of uh, type Key 1, you select the Key Vault and then second Key Vault, Region 1, Region 2 and similarly you can use the keys that you're managing from self defending Key Management Service in the Azure PaaS services such as Azure File Storage or Azure SQL uh, and and same thing goes that it's the same key you can actually use for on-premise Oracle TDE as well. So you can see that not only you can do the cloud key management centrally using self-defending key management service, but you can do the key management across your on-premise deployment, whether it's a private cloud, hybrid cloud, or a public cloud.